So yesterday the AppSumo launch started and four days left till AppSumo launch. Looks like we will be on time, but still it's everything is very crazy. I'm not actually 100% sure. Let's see how it goes. I just finished recording all the videos for integrations, basically the tutorials and so on. And as you can see, I had my light here, my mic. Time to go to work. Just took a scooter going to the cafe. The cool thing about the scooter is that you can put your phone here and it's actually charging your phone and you can also use it for navigation, which is pretty cool. I really enjoy this road because like the view is nice. There's the sea, some buildings, the park. So yeah, I actually love riding there, listening to music. Just some entertainment for me before the work. <laughs> I'm going up there. There is a cafe. We're going to eat something. It's the lunch time. Yeah. yeah, we finished what notion integration, right? So Solgira, Slack, Zapier, Telegram, all of this still to go. It's funny, but the scooter that I rode in the morning, it's exactly where I left it. There he is, my boy, waiting for me to ride. <laughs> so, yesterday I went to sleep at 4 a.m. and today I woke up here at 9.30. So, how much did I sleep? 5.30. <laughs> 5 hours. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I feel like from a meme. Today is my birthday and I decided to do something special because I usually don't celebrate my birthday. I mean, not that special, but just at least something fun. What's up, Tima? <laughs> so we came to like, Asian cuisine. Can you not swear for once? <laughs> okay, we just finished eating and uh, it's time to uh, drink, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How do you turn it on? <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to drink tonight. Okay, we have uh, three and a half hours left before the um, AppSumo campaign starts. Like Rocky from Steam has added a bunch of new stuff to the website. For example, we have updated our use cases so that people, when they visit the website, they can see, you know, uh, what use cases there are. We have added a bunch of testimonials. And they have added, updated many uh, pages to make sure that it looks, I forgot the right, but basically that it's trustable. Also, all the companies that uh, use us feed. Okay, so far, uh, what we have is like tons of questions 24, two good uh, reviews with uh, five tacos. Yeah, they use tacos instead of stars, which is pretty cool. I even posted here, like, what happened? Like, uh, almost 2.7k in sales. 22 new B2B clients, tricks, server crashes, plenty of times, 11 bucks fixed. Let's, let me show you actually, you see here, I mean, these are three red dots, which means the server crashed each time, and I had to figure out why. Shit, we are late. <laughs> oh my god, what a game! So, it is 1.40 am and before I go to sleep I want to explain you what has been ha happening today all day, okay? So, the issue was that every time when our server crashed, you know, obviously the server would just go down. So what I did is I added two instances of our server so that when one crashes, the second one still continues to run. Sounds good, right? But that in itself created a second additional problem. So basically, when a user opens Beep, I connect them to our server. This is our server. And when they message another person, another person also receives the message, right? 
But because I created two servers, what happened is one person would connect to this server and this person would connect to this server. So there would be no connection between this and this. That means that when this person would send a message, this message would not get to this user because this user is on this server, not on this server. So what I had to do basically to solve this issue, now I have two servers, but then also in addition to that, I have another third server. So what happens is when one user connects here, right, the data goes through here to here. And the same happens here when user connects, the data goes through here to here. So now all of the data is on one server, even if two server instances are running. So when this guy sends a message, first it goes here, it takes the information from here, then it passes it to here, and this one passes it to this guy. <sighs> I tested it, hopefully it works. Let's see what happens tomorrow. So we are live and my brother is also testing the flow to see if everything is working because we had a bug and the servers were done for like a few minutes but now it's fine so we're just testing things. We are on the home page of AppSumo, let's go! So the questions are already rolling in, seven questions, more coming soon. So yesterday the AppSumo launch started and uh, so far uh, in total sales i think they've already been like close to 2k which is pretty crazy it's not even 24 hours but it's probably it will probably slow down a bit later it's already slowing down but the fun part is that it started with a server crash as soon as the launch started i think our server crashed uh, a few minutes after that and i was trying to figure out what is the problem because it didn't crash before I did figure out the problem, but for now we just turned off that functionality. It was a stupid inviting by email your teammate that crashed the server. Yep. So uh, that functionality is still not live. I will work today on uh, bringing it live, basically. Today we are going to a sauna to relax, to spa, basically, uh, because it has been a stressful week and it's time to just, you know, have at least one relaxed day came here to relax hopefully it's going to be nice our boss looks stressed because he has been fixing bug yesterday <laughs> yeah that's what i say he has been fixing <laughs> it's night and it's time to go home